passport bros you guys want to hear a success story look what i pulled from the old country right it's great she doesn't even speak english so i don't have to listen to her passport bros passport bros i mean let me tell you something i don't know what they call that stuff but that little like caramel man you gotta stop playing i mean if they give me one right now tear it up live we're gonna get straight into it because i understand this question is on the socials and we want to know why why do women get upset with the question what do you bring to the table are you poor are you poor what i'm sorry are you poor am i poor mm -hmm. no <laughs> i'm asking a question like okay. we gotta be poor to ask that question kind of Explain. Uh, you bum, hey, rock. What do you mean providing? Cause not, not, like, cause I should not. not be paying the rent. I should not be paying for this, for that, for making sure we get dinner every night and make sure that I should not be doing that. I should not be paying the Wi-Fi, the car insurance, none of that. I'm single. Um, mm -hmm. For me, is what I, tell, what I tell females now, I'm looking for someone to partner with, not someone to sponsor. Mm. Right, right. In yeah, LA, right, you know, right, that's, right. That, that means a so lot. You know what I mean? It's a lot of sponsorships <laughs> right here. And, and, and for me, I need you to bring something more to, to the, the picnic table. than your appetite. Absolutely. Bring, bring, bring utensils, <laughs> right. bring napkins. Something. Even if, something. Even, if you, even if you're bringing tater salad that Becky cooking, it's not even good. Right. It got grapes in it. Yeah, something. They, Just bring, bring something. It. Right. And so for me, and, and it, it's tough. Yeah. It, it, it's tough because you're like, hey, are you, do you like me for me or you like me for the TV, what I, the yeah, opportunity? What, right, right. Yeah. So it's tough. Yeah. It's tough. And so How do you keep your man satisfied without sex? <laughs> Enemy cream gobbler detected. Cream gobbler opinion rejected. This is a certified hood classic. We are about to mark, mark to this day. To this day. What do y'all bring to the table then? Everything. Don't say the table either. <laughs> everything like what? Give me three everything. Since everything, since everything, give me three everything. The life of the party. Oh. She said she bring the life of the party. We bring the chair and the table. In a relationship, what do you bring to the table? Don't say sex and don't say the table. <laughs> you have it there, folks. I don't, hey. I don't do it. I don't do it. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. So what y'all bring to the table, though, to the relationship? I am Whatever the table. table. I am the table. Everything. What you bring to the table? I don't, I don't know. What you bring to the table? <laughs> she bring, she bring. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. More to the table than the wig. Come here. What you bring to the table? See, I got a job. Like, I don't know. I can't cook. I don't can't cook. cook. I don't cook. It's absolutely shameful. If I'd ask you what exactly <laughs> is on this Do you fucking bring to table, the table? you could be the best woman out here. Be the best guac giver or that like. <laughs> guac giver or that like. That's some wet ass pussy. Gentlemen, let me say this. They are three people in this world that are going to tell you the truth. One, children. Hey, babe. Yeah. Would you still love me if I was fat? Yeah, of course. But mom, you are fat. Two, intoxicated people. Three, last but not least, cheek slang headquarters. Perfect. And when a girl says, I bring my wop to the table, that wop does not stand for wet ass pussy. That wop stands for warrants and probation. That wop stands for Wide asshole and wide pussy. And when a girl says, Oh, I'm a virgin, like, you know, uh, I'm celibate, I, you know, I'm a virgin. Virgin. All right, guys, we're currently inside the guts of the modern woman. We're gonna take a class field trip. Watch your step one at a time. There's plenty of space for all of us. Oh! So, fellas, if you guys look around, it's very loose, there's a lot of vacant space. Perhaps we can even build a small village in here, fellas. So, so what do y'all bring to the table? Y'all better be, y'all better be bringing the loyalty and the money. Prettiness. Prettiness. <laughs> Prettiness. Prettiness. That's it. Yeah. That, so, okay. So, loyalty, money, and what else you say? And money. And respect, and you just gonna come over here with some prettiness. Yeah. This is fucking. This is 
That's crazy. <laughs> Alright, rate yourself one to ten. Eleven. Eleven. Twelve. Twelve. What life for? Let me ask you guys this question. If we were to take away her fish hole, some smellier than others, some might be hairier than others. Oh my god! <laughs> and if we strip her of all of her beauty, ask yourself, truthfully, realistically, what do most of these women bring into your life? Most of them, not a goddamn thing, but a hole in your wallet. And fellas, many of the modern women today do not realize that they are going to have to bring more than just their looks and their wop because beauty fades, but dumb is forever. Because according to the Ask Collaborations Proverbs 667, it states, if she has ass and tits, but no brain, send her ass back to the streets where she came. Oh, he needs God. some milk. Hey, so after we done, you put your clothes back on. Now let's talk. We at a table now? Or yeah, we, we still in the back? We, we at a table. No, no, we not at the table. We asking why should y'all even come to the table? Why, we why did you ask? Bed? Like, why what did you, you mean? Because you men want to build long-term relationships with women outside of sex. By starting in the bed? Here's the problem with that question. It doesn't matter where we start. That's how we finish. It's how we finish. with that question. That's you fast-tracking everything. If you're not hiring me for a job, why am I answering to you what I bring to the table? Either you're going to take why your time. Not, when you you're going to take your time to get to know me and figure out what, well, I, what it is that so, I bring. So, yeah. Or so let me ask you, a you don't really want me to be here. What questions are you asking on the first date? Do you have kids? Do you have a job? If you were to ask a woman, what does she look for in her man? She will have a five page essay of a list of requirements of what her man needs to be. He needs to make six figures. He needs to have ripped six pack abs. He needs to have a six feet long flesh rocket. And he's gotta make me bust six times out of the week. And he's gotta last for six hours. And he's gotta be six feet tall. I believe I can fly. Man, some of these girls just want to be Dane the Devil. Just six, 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 everything. Damn! I go 50 50. Yeah, all the way, 50 50. Uh, what you think? 50 50? 60 40. Yeah, 60. 60 pounds you need to lose because, sweetheart, you are a cheeseburger away from looking like Shrek. And if you were to ask these girls, what do they bring to the table? Everything, everything that comes with me. Two or three things, that's everything. I don't have to list it off. Usually, it's very difficult to believe something that can bleed five days straight and cannot die. But for the first time, I believe these women, that they are the table. What? Because if you guys think about it, what does a table do all day? It sits in a room and it does absolutely fucking nothing. I don't do anything. <laughs> and just like a table, she probably stands on all fours. And she about to butt. My finger up. She about to butt. And when these girls say, I am the table. We bring the chair and the table. No lies were detected. Because if you guys think about a table, a table is a wide, flat piece of surface that gets nailed, drilled, and screwed. <laughs> and after that, it gets filled with a sticky substance with its legs high in the air. And then the table gets refurnished and repainted to hide all of its flaws. <laughs> that is the perfect representation of a cream gobbler. And fellas, remember what I said at the beginning of the video. When you ask a girl, what does she bring to the table? Pay attention to her response because when you ask a girl, what does she bring to the table? This is a question that tests a woman's self-esteem. Now watch. The question, what do you bring to the table? Are you poor? I'm sorry? Are you poor? Am I poor? Mm -hmm. No, <laughs> I'm asking a question. <laughs> okay. We got to be poor to ask that question? Kind of. Explain. I, what? Because if you looked at me and you saw me, you knew that you wanted me. You're approaching me over it. Probably does sexually. That, mm, I don't think so. But what does that have to do with what I bring to the table? You knew that you saw me and you liked me. So why mm. do you need to know what I bring to the I'm, table? 
Let me just break down human psychology to you guys real quick. You see, when he asked her, what does she bring to the table? She immediately deflected and said, are you broke? And what you guys need to understand about human psychology, what offends you, reveals you. And what gets under your skin, what triggers you? You operate with your emotions, which are fostered by your own insecurity. Now, if any man or any woman cannot answer, what do you bring to the table confidently? What does it say about them? They bring absolutely nothing. Well, if, you, if, you, if I see you and I like you, mm -hmm. that's purely physical, correct? I mean, it depends. What is the I'm, 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 I'm going off what I'm going off what you look like. Listen, so that's physical. You could have met me in the library with a little librarian sweater on. That mean like, okay, I, I know. I don't know enough. Man, get the fuck out of here, man! Please, please get the fuck out of here, man! Knows about you. So <laughs> because mean, you're in the library, I like. <laughs> First Bruh. of all, um, uh -huh. I'd like to. Uh, if she's bringing something physical to the table, then you know what the fuck she brought to the table. Um, the physical. Oh, the titties physical. and ass. You asked it to the table, did you not? That's Man, what that's she said. That's all she wanted. That's what you brought to the table. To, you invited it to the table. No, Don't I say that to all. Nobody invited it. it. This, is like, <laughs> this is like people that ask for $20, and then when you ask for it back, they like, oh, you mad about your little funky $20. <laughs> Don't say, <laughs> Don't say oh. oh, this is all you got? You, This is what you asked? So you knew yeah. what it was. If I'm seeing ass and titties, I'm going to invite it to the bedroom, not the table. So but you don't make it to the table. So then why are you asking about the table? Like you're not asking about to the bedroom. After we get past the ass and titties, now we want to know what else is behind this ass and titties. But then you should have taken the time to get you to know me right. to figure that we, out. That's why we asked that question. Ask These women here, they want to be respected like adults, but instead they act like spoiled children. Gentlemen, these women have fully demonstrated what they bring to the table. Stress, deflection, uncooperativeness, and inflated egos. That is not a good recipe for a good girlfriend. That is the perfect recipe for giving you a goddamn stroke. I can feel my face when I'm with you. Then they turn right back around and say, oh, why am I alone and single? What happened? Where did all the men go? Well, sweetheart, have you ever thought that the good men are with the good woman. See, all men want is peace. We do not want to be with the woman with a sense of entitlement, a woman with hella attitude. Fellas, look at this right here. I love it when men say, what do you bring to the table? <laughs> My darling, <laughs> I bring souls. I bring life into this world. So no, baby, it's you. What do you bring to the table? You bring souls, huh? Well, I literally just lost my soul looking at your face. This girl looks like a handsome Squidward. Bitch, what the fuck? What the this girl is so ugly. Her mama probably breastfed her through a straw. This girl is so ugly. When she was born, the doctor cut the cord and hung himself. This girl is so freaking ugly. When she tried casting for Alien vs. Predator, she didn't need any makeup. She was hired on the spot. You're one ugly motherfucker. And fellas, I just find it very funny. When a man asks a woman, what does she bring to the table? It's considered rude and misogynistic. But for Deborah, is, what exactly do you bring to the table? Are you joking? Did I start? That's rude. You stuck up precious little bitch. If a man cannot ask a woman, what does she bring to the table? Because it's considered rude. Fine. Don't ask men about their jobs and their height. Do we have ourselves a deal, a parlay? Because Dave Chappelle once said, chivalry is dead and woman killed it because they demand everything but give nothing. See, the modern woman they want to be loved, but do not know how to be loving. And that is such a nasty human trait to have, especially if that is going to be the mother of your children. See, women be like, I want a man who's six feet tall, ripped six pack abs, who makes six figures. He's gotta become the next Bill Gates. 
And men be like, I just want a woman who's not fucking morbidly obese. And a woman be like, oh, how dare you? He's a misogynist. Let's throw rocks at him. Let's execute him. How dare you? Shut up, Karen. Nobody asked you. I'm about to go off. I'm about to cuss these cream gobblers out. My Asian sister from another mister. How do you say motherfucker in Chinese? Motherfucker in Chinese. Chusha. Chusha. Now, everybody all together on a count of three. One, two, three. Chusa, 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 and chusa. And especially this one. The question, what do you bring to the table? Are you poor? I'm sorry? Are you poor? Chusa. Finish her. That girl is so fat when she stepped on a scale. The scale said, sorry, one person at a time. Yeah! Fatality. See, fellas, I want you guys to pay attention throughout the whole interview. None of these girls said I bring peace to a man's life. I can be a feminine woman who can nurture to my man. I'm caring. I bring inspiration. And some of these girls brag about how they can't cook as if it's some great feminist achievement. Like they just discovered the cure to AIDS. That is blasphemous. What is your man supposed to eat when he gets home from work? A fucking raccoon? Snails? Roly polies? See, all the things that these girls mention, it does not add any kind of value to a man's life. All the things that the girls mention a man can get from his buddies and his pet dog. That is why so many men are walking away from marriage because marriage today is like playing Russian roulette with one empty chamber, but with five loaded ones. You want to take a chance at marriage? You end up like this guy. Now, out of all of the cluster of cream gobblers, only one girl said the right thing. What you bring to the table? Um, well, outside of the package, I bring um, compassion. Perfect. I bring love. Perfect. I bring comfort. And I'm a nurturer. You the real MVP. What you got? What you do? Yoga? You got you got crystals yeah. on you or some shit? No. What you got going on? Cause I feel it. Yoga. I feel it. I can she give you some shit. Like she be doing yoga. Now, German, let me conclude this video on this note. May you find your hitnata in a world full of sakuras. Curry. Gobbler. Gobble. Now may I close out this video with Cheek Slain Genesis 101. Now, if she says I bring warmth, peace, and inspiration, that is all a man really wants. A girl like that is a diamond in a bag full of moldy croissants. Perfect. Sensational. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect.